Their deaths stunned the world. The rescue 78 struck. And saddened their friends. Luke Perry. He's just with us. Yeah, he's, he's with, with us. us. And John Singleton. I'm just heartbroken. He's one of the good guys. Both so young, in their 50s, both passing just this year. Now, I'm joining forces with world-renowned neurosurgeon and leading specialist on strokes, Dr. Neil Martin. Dr. Dorian, great to see you. Good to see you too. To talk about the warning signs and the cutting edge new treatments for the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. In one minute, you lose 1.9 million neurons. That's why getting treatment as soon as possible is so important. And as an ER doc, I can tell you. Time is the best way we're gonna be able to take care of you. The most common symptoms. Drooping of the face, weakness or numbness of an arm or leg, or speech abnormalities. And these are the biggest risk factors. High blood pressure, diabetes, smoking. All of those can be modified. Prevention, as you know, is our most exciting kind of realm uh, for, for, for physicians. You know, we're seeing a lot of devices people are wearing, like Apple Watches, I got one on, uh, which help uh, do some monitoring of your heart. But if the unthinkable happens, a cutting edge procedure called microsurgery could lead to a miraculous reversal of fortune. Today, we can go up with a microcatheter, snare the clot, pull it out of the brain artery, restore the circulation, and save millions of brain cells. So it's routine that we're seeing patients come in unable to speak and walk out of the hospital in two days fine. In 2001, Sharon Stone suffered a stroke and a subsequent cerebral hemorrhage. She fought for years to regain her speech and her vision. Now she's sharing her own inspirational message. You can come all the way back, yeah. even from the edge, from the worst things, I'm here to tell you. A message of hope as we work to prevent another tragedy. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.